Good afternoon, everyone. And thank you for choosing my talk. Uh, so today, our topic is going to be leveraging Go for efficient infrastructure and data handling. And I promise to keep you entertained. First things, my name is Chioma, and I'm a software engineer at a company called Astronoma. On today's agenda, we're going to find out who Astronomer is, and we're going to find out why we use Go for our cloud-native um, development. Also, um, this would be about you know, our cross-platform um, integration, this client and server. And then we are going to find out best practices in Go for cloud-native development. Um, so leveraging um, Go's um, strengths. And finally, we are going to be having practical insights and improvements in data processing workflows. First things, before I tell you who Astronomer is, ha does anyone here use Airflow? Good. Um, Airflow is the open source standard for workflow management. Airflow is, um, if you're a data engineer, you probably have used Airflow, or maybe you're using something else for your um, data uh, workflow management. But um, Airflow is the de facto open source standard for programmatic data engineering pipelines. And um, Airflow is made up of building blocks. And what that means is that Airflow can connect to all sorts of tools. And in an instance, there is no building block. You can connect to any um, tool that has an API. And next, we're going to find out who Astronomer is. Astronomer is a company with uh, a couple of commercial offerings, uh, one of them being software, which is the product I work on. There is also the hosted. And um, in summary, um, Astronoma is a unified platform to orchestrate and um, um, govern all of your data. Um, next, I'm going to be sharing a diagram. It's not the easiest to read diagram, but just pretend you understand what is happening here. Um, this is what software looks like. Um, we have the clients, which is the Astro CLI. That's the CLI and the UI. We have um, the API, which we call Houston. And then our API um, communicates to what we call the worker through our NATs. And then there's the commander, which is what this talk will be based um, off of, um, because the commander is how we integrate with um, our infrastructure. Uh, so Astroma is the driving force behind um, Apache Airflow. Um, what this means is that we manage 100% of um, Airflow releases. And 18 out of 25 of the top commuters of Airflow are from um, Astroma employees. And this also translates to over 50% of Airflow code. Also, there is um, a large ecosystem of resources and uh, teaching materials or, or for Apache Airflow. And Astronma is the main place where you, know, you can learn how to use Airflow. Um, yeah, before I proceed, um, I'll be sharing some code snippets for this presentation. Most of them are code snippets I kind of like made up, but they may or may not um, be representative of Astronomer's current engineering standards. So I just thought I should point that out. Why go for cloud um, native um, development? Um, for this presentation, I would like to focus my talk on how we harness the power of Go to create cross-platform clients and server bindings. One of the reasons why we use Go um, for our commander is because of 
It's um, seamless integration with Kubernetes and Helm. So as we all know, um, Kubernetes is built um, on Go and the SDKs. So because of that, it's very easy for us to integrate. Um, because um, it's easy to um, interact with the tools programmatically, and um, the seamless integration makes Go the perfect choice for managing Kubernetes and um, Helm-based um, integration. This code example you see here is an instance of how uh, to create Kubernetes clients uh, to interact with Kubernetes API server from within a pod running inside a Kubernetes cluster. Another reason why we have chosen Go is because of its simplicity and um, readability. Because Go's syntax is um, straightforward and easy to read, uh, which makes it an excellent choice for both new and um, experienced um, developers. It also eliminates many of the complexities found in other languages, uh, making it easier to maintain and um, scale. Also, Go encourages um, modularity and um, clean separation of um, features. This code example is just a very simple example of how you can return a release name from um, a deployment. You can't talk about Go without mentioning um, concurrency. And concurrency is one of the things that make Go so um, beautiful. Um, in our code base, we leverage and go routines to, make, um, to manage operations such as deploying multiple Airflow instances, interacting with uh, Kubernetes, and um, operating um, Helm charts. Also, because um, with go routines, there is minimal memory overhead, which makes it um, ideal and for applications that um, will require scalability. And um, yeah, I just. Um, have this example here of how we can um, deploy multiple Airflow instances um, concurrently. As you can see here, there is like on line three here, there is the Go keyword, which is a way to start a typical um, new Go routine. Next, best practices in Go. Now, the key to um, effective cloud-native um, development is to leverage the language um, strength. And when you talk about the language strength, you could talk about things like its concurrency. You could also talk about things like Go packages, um, um, making use of it. But for our talk, I would like to focus on some more general best practices. One of the focus today is uh, modular um, design. So for us, for example, we have um, modularized our code base into uh, small and reusable packages. Like we have the API, we have the provisioner. We also like have the proto for our um, RPC communication. And we have also separated th these things based on um, functionalities. Maybe like for Helm operations, we have its separations for Kubernetes um, integration, so we have that. Error handling. Um, I don't know if anyone here was at the um, event yesterday at Tesla, where it said one of my favorite things about Go is how Go man handles error. Like in Go, errors are um, values, unlike in most other languages. And Go also um, is built such a way that it kind of like forces people to handle errors gracefully. And because of that, you know, you're always consistently, when you, have, um, when you have a value, you also want to check that there is no error so that you're not, um, your value is not a null pointer or something like that. So we have consist clear and consistent um, error checking throughout our code. Um, testing. As a seasoned engineer, you want to make sure that you know, your code base is um, fully tested because you, know, you don't want to run into avoidable tech debts. And um, you need testing, integration testing. You want to make sure that things are set and in order. And you also want to ensure that all components function um, correctly and um, reliably. Next, practical insights and um, improvements. Um, 
The key to improving your data workflow is to understand the typical workflow stages, avoid common pitfalls, and implement best practices. So one of the best practices we'll be talking about today is efficient um, data processing. Um, because of Go's um, concurrency and um, because of Go's performance and concurrency uh, model, um, this is advantageous to data processing um, tasks. And Go can efficiently manage um, multiple data streams and um, perform complex task processes. And also, in the context of um, Astronomer, Go ensures that um, data workflows orchestrated by Airflow are managed efficiently with um, minimal latency and maximum throughputs. Yeah, for us also, for our client um, server communication, we have chosen um, GRPC uh, over um, HTTP calls because of how we can send bite-sized um, information. And, you know, it makes it high performance because RPC networks allow you to send little bite-sized information, which can make um, your Go code work um, efficiently. Also, um, we have, um, uh, um, we have built extensive microservices, which make it um, fast and reliable for um, data exchange. So this is an example of our proto service with um, gRPC. We have quite a number of them, but I just you know, selected like two for the purpose of this presentation. And yeah. That comes to the end of my talk, and thank you for sticking with me so far. I implore you to um, explore Go for your cloud native um, development, and happy data processing, and thank you for your attention. <laughs>